All right, so JJ's 85 Mustang GT. Here's the master cylinder that was leaking profusely into the booster. Cut this off, that was a hoot. Now I'm gonna go play pull the booster. Yay! And there is the aftermath on the brake booster from the leaking master. Ugh. Yucky. One yucky brake booster. Out. Holy moly. It's been leaking a while. Ugh. There is our new to us remanufactured booster. Looks good. How to fight it in. Alright. Master is in. Brake pedals all assembled. Boosters oh, no, in. Up so I can reach the pedal. Exactly, because I had to move it all the way back. I'm going to fill this up with brake fluid, and we are going to bench bleed it on the car. There we go. Can the next one, when you're all the way down, hold it down for about 10 seconds? Okay, it's down. Just because I want the bubbles to accumulate. In the hopes that they'll maybe become one big bubble and make it easier. Mm -hmm. Back up? Yep. Go for it. Leave it down or back up? And just go back up. Just work it. All right. There you go. You're doing good. Of course, this car has never had brake pads. They're original still? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, my 2011 Ranger has 188,000 miles on it, and it's got the original brakes. Wow, that's impressive. But it's stick shift, and I'll drive it 300 miles without applying the brakes. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, I'm serious. It's like, okay, it's I need gas, coffee, and tea. And so I'll, I'll basically downshift and coast off the interstate. And then, you know, probably apply the brakes once or twice as I pull up to a pump. Yeah. All done with this. Now we're going to go check our lines underneath. Okay, so here's our rear line. It has a, basically a flare T here. And then this is like the front with the flare. And uh, no, because our other one, it's banjo and the T. So I get to play Go Fish yet again.